Hi guys, it's Nishi here, hope you have a really good day. So in today's video, what I want to talk about is how the upcoming corporation tax changes mean that you should really start thinking about investing more in your business. So if you think about it, it now what's going to happen is if you earn more than 50k in profits in your business, instead of being taxed the usual 19%, you're going to be taxed 26.5% on anything you earn over any profits you make over 50 grand in your business. So um, one of the things you should really think about is, do you really want to make profits over 50K in your business? And what I mean by that is um, not like, should you be running your business to make, be profitable? But what I'm actually saying is, if you start reinvesting money back into your business, then actually you're going to keep your profits down, which means you won't end up paying that 26.5% corporation tax on it. But what you'll do instead is by reinvesting your business, you're growing the equity in your business. And by growing the equity in your business, your business is going to be far more profitable in the long term. But also down the line, when you do want to sell your business, you can actually sell it for far more money. And um, a lot of people know, um, but or you may not know, but the I, whole point of ec building up equity, not just the only point, but one of the um, benefits of building up equity is when you sell a business, capital gains tax is, ta is lower than uh, corporation and dividend tax. So the, the idea is like instead of um, when you sell your business down the line, you know, if you sell it for up to a million pounds, you can you can pay a flat 10 percent tax on, on the whatever you sell it for in terms of goodwill. So that's something to really think about, because like if you think about it at the higher rate, the um, the the new corporation tax plus the dividend tax, you know, that will take you well over 50 percent. Um, so if you're going to lose 50% of your tax at the higher rate to, um, with your limited company just by um, taking those profits out, then why not just if you can if you don't have to take the money out and you can live on you know less than 50k a year, or if there's two of you and between the two of you you can live off less than 100, then actually keeping money in your business or keeping as much money in, as possible. Um, to grow it means that in the long term you're paying far less tax one of the other alternatives is really put money into your pension because that's going to lower your um, corporation tax bill as well but um it's uh, this is what i really just wanted to talk about because I, I think the government's done this deliberately they've they've increased the corporation tax rates and dividend tax rates at the high rate to try and encourage business owners to put money back into their business and keep money in their business so they can um they can keep growing their businesses which is better for the economy and better for them in the long term so that that's my my main point here if you found this video useful um, remember to like share follow and subscribe and um i forgot to mention earlier but there's some really good content at, on our web page uh, naccounting.co.uk so we've got our uh, access to our podcast there where i interview successful business owners and then we've also got um our quarterly planning days so if you're thinking it's if you're there thinking, I don't know how to invest in my business, I don't know how to grow it, then the quarterly planning days are an absolute must because then we can talk about the next three or four moves that you need to make to get your business growing in the right direction. You can also book yourself in for a free strategy session with myself where we can also do that um, on a one-to-one -one basis. So thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.